Right, this is Gadget Man 404 and today I'm doing a little video of showing you my FPV setup. I've got a HK350 camera on top with an angle sort of bracket. Uh, I've just wired it through to there to keep it all together because it's really really long. I've got the transmitter is on the leg and I've made a harness and then I've powered it into a 2S battery spliced into the main battery and I'm using the G-Tang watch for my FPV monitor I'll just move that around so it shows so you'll see there just how good the video is I mean the video this is a 7 uh, 600 TVL and as you can see it's really really clear so I've got no problems you can see what's going on around you no problem so just wanted to show you my setup uh, I did all this myself uh, in the week but as the weather is absolutely slinging it down no flying today I mean, as you can see it's like proper chucking it down but I just wanted to show people on the Sima X8C this is just a rough thing I'm going to shorten that at the top and then have velcro that won't be there uh, but yeah I just wanted to show people uh, you can FPV with the Sima X8C that I'm going to move probably higher up there and have that running on the inside of the leg so it just hides it but uh, yeah I hope you like this video as you can see you know no lag at all I'm waving in front of the camera and it's pretty you know millisecond if that so that that watch monitor is absolutely amazing and the colors are so so clear and to change channel you just on the side you see you've got at the bottom you've got your, your letters like your race bands and then the channels and then to select the channel if you want it to go up you just press the uh, you just press the channel button until it goes all the way through until you get a picture so race band on this one is like D1 or something it's set to at the minute but you can change it to whatever you want some people say don't use this as your FPV screen but seriously you can because it is you can just fit it onto your aerial which is why I'm taking the strap off I'm gonna fit mine to my aerial of my transmitter make a little sunshade thing but it's really really good and um, this is how I've set it up if there's there's different ways possibly but this way works and I've put a video out already so if you want to watch that video to show kind of footage the video was done at half eight at night so basically you know getting dusk um, bit cloudy but the camera works really well in low light and you can adjust the angle of that camera you could just undo that little screw and the camera will move forward or back you could push it further back or you can move it forward I may fit it eventually I may fit the camera here somehow I'll velcro it to the front there because it gets the tops of the propellers at the moment but it, it works, it works really well. So Gadget Man 404, out.